Wow. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> this is uh. <laughs> So yeah, the house that Jordan built. <laughs> I mean, that might actually be one of my Not only is Michael Jordan considered the greatest NBA player of all time, he's also the first athlete to become a billionaire, making him the richest. He's retired from ball these days, but he spends his downtime relaxing in a pretty lavish mansion. He's owned multi-million dollar estates all over the US from Chicago to Park City and where he's currently at these days. And this video will give you all the details on his $20 million custom Florida mansion, his past homes and more. Michael Jordan is a former pro basketball player, duh, and like I said, dubbed the best NBA player there ever was. He now owns a Charlotte Hornets NBA team after playing 15 seasons in the league himself and winning six championships with the Chicago Bulls. He was one of the best marketed athletes and helped to popularize the NBA in the 80s and the 90s. Remember Space Jam? Recently, basketball fans are hyped thanks to a new series on Netflix. Despite the worldwide pandemic bringing the NBA to a halt, there's something for ball fans to watch on Sunday night. The Last Dance is a 10-part miniseries slash documentary about Michael and the Chicago Bulls, and reviews say it's a must-watch for anyone who loves the sport. But today we're focusing less on the new MJ show and more on his real estate. Like I said, Michael is the first billionaire athlete and his income these days is way more than his salary during his career. Aside from his money from when he used to play, he earns a lot owning the Hornets and of course all his product endorsements and deals over the years like Air Jordan. Michael's current estimated net worth is at 2.1 billion US dollars. Hey guys, it's Karen, today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be looking at where billionaire Michael Jordan calls home like his mansion in Florida, his epic Chicago place and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours in the likes of Steve Harvey and Eminem and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram because I love connecting with you guys. I've also been reading all your comments and I'm going to be responding to some at the end. I need you to let me know who to do next in the comments down below and whose home you'd like to see. Now let's get into this video. First, we'll take a look at Michael's previous mansion in Chicago that served as the family home for more than two decades. As of fall 2019, this place was still for sale and has actually been on the market for a whopping eight years. I'll tell you why in just a moment. His mansion is located in Highland Park, Illinois. It's just 25 miles or so north of downtown Chicago, and it's one of the wealthiest areas to live in. It's right by the water too, so it's clear to see why Michael chose his neighborhood. He had the home and surrounding property built from scratch in order to suit his personal tastes. Of course, Michael called Chicago home for quite some time thanks to his successful career with the Bulls. The mansion was built in a modern style back in 1995 and then renovated again in 2009, sitting on 7.39 acres of land. Inside, Michael's previous home spans an insane 56,000 square feet and has more than you could ever imagine. There are 9 beds and 15 baths spread across 3 floors. You can tell immediately that this is the legend's house considering the gate at the front has his number 23 right in the middle. In fact, there's a lot through the house that is all about Mr. Mr. Jordan, so a new resident would have to change a lot to make it their own. There's a long drive up to the home from the gate covered by trees that ensures privacy. Upon walking into the Chicago mansion, there's an epic entryway and the common areas resemble more of a luxury resort than a family home. There are plenty of living spaces like a piano room, family rooms, and more than one great room. One set of doors on the main floor is actually from the original Playboy Mansion in Chicago. There's a games room, a large sitting room, and dining room with a Baghdad table, where the tabletop is based on the streets of that city. There are other detailed eating areas too, like a massive kitchen with a beautiful skylight over the eating area. Other features of Michael's previous mansion include a movie theater and a lounge, cigar room, poker room, huge wine cellar, and a wet bar. What was said to be MJ's fave room in the home is apparently the upstairs library which also had a drop down movie screen. There's also a full home gym where Michael and the Bull teammates used to work out every morning and we can't forget the basketball court. Of course, the indoor regulation sized court reads Jordan on the floor and has motorized backboards and the jump
frontman logo at center court. In between the main home and the guest wing, there's an entertainment pavilion beneath a row of skylights. Leading to the back patio, there's a room with a 110 inch movie screen that used to be an indoor pool. This room is renovated with sliding walls on each side to be an indoor outdoor style room. Elsewhere on the massive property, there's a three bedroom guest house with a family room and kitchen, as well as a climate controlled 15 car garage. Outside is equally as impressive, offering a full tennis court, large patio, putting green, pond with fish, and infinity pool with a grass island in the center. Despite how amazing this mansion is, Michael's clearly having trouble selling it. It's been on the market since 2012 and was even in an auction in 2013, but the minimum bid was never met. Apparently the home was first for sale at 29 million and has since it's had to be relisted for as low as 14.9 million. The exact price is $14,855,000 and the numbers add up to 23, Jordan's number. There are a few reasons why Michael may be struggling to unload this place, one of them being all the personal customizations. They'd be a lot for someone to change. The neighborhood is also more modest than somewhere like Beverly Hills per se, so the home is a bit much. People also want to be a bit closer to Lake Michigan if they're spending that much on property, not to mention the taxes. The annual bill is about 100 k In 2013, MJ invested in some other real estate, a gorgeous lakefront home in North Carolina. This makes sense considering the team he owns is based out of the same state and he grew up in North Carolina. The mansion is located in Cornelius, which is a lakeside town in North Carolina offering miles and miles of shoreline and only 22 miles from uptown Charlotte. It sits right on Lake Norman and the Peninsula Golf Club. Public records show that the Jordan Family Gift Trust was listed as purchasing this place for $2.8 million after it was foreclosed on. Michael's North Carolina estate is impressive at first glance thanks to the large pillars, surrounding gate and front steps. Upon walking in, you're greeted by the huge entry with double height ceilings, winding stairs, and windows all over. The listing at the time said this home had stunning panoramic lake views from almost every room, and I'm not surprised. The house has six beds, eight baths, and spans 12,310 square feet of living space. The property is also big, sitting on over an acre of land. Everything in Michael's lakeside house looks grand as you move from room to room. Features include a two-story great room that opens out to the main terrace and an expansive basement with gym and entertainment center. There's all the luxury amenities you could imagine, including a pool and the fact that it's surrounded by water on three sides, not to mention the private dock and walkway. I'm not sure if Michael spends more time in this North Carolina mansion or the other home he bought around the same time. Apparently this next mansion is Michael's main family home at the moment. It took 6 months of planning and 18 months of construction, but he managed to create his dream house. This place is located in Jupiter, Florida, the northernmost town of Palm Beach. The land cost Michael 4.8 million and construction cost at least 7.6 million. So after finishing touches and furnishings, Michael's custom estate would be worth well over 20 million. You'd think a home at this price would be on the water if you're in the Sunshine State, but surprisingly it's not. It is however located in the super exclusive Bears Club community which is heavily gated, guarded and private, known for its celebrity residents. The membership initiation fee alone is 350 k and then there are monthly dues. Michael's mansion spans a gigantic 28,000 square feet with 11 bedrooms and 11.5 bathrooms. To make the size of the home a little less obnoxious looking, it's designed with 18 separate roof lines in the architecture, creating a home within a home look. The style of Michael's home is quite modern and although we haven't seen much of the interior, we do know some of the features. There's a separate pool or guest house as well as a two-story guard house. The main residence is separated into more than one wing, including an athletic wing with a full basketball court, obviously. There's also a media room that's built to handle massive amounts of smoke. The heavy-duty ventilation system is in place so Michael can enjoy all the cigars he wants, we know he loves them. Although the mansion isn't on the beach, at least we can see that Michael has an enormous pool and spa out back. So now we've seen the billionaire Michael Jordan's properties like his custom mansion in Florida and his lakefront North Carolina spots. Although we didn't get to see the inside of his current residence, looking at the size you already know it's impressive. Not to mention his longtime home was that giant place in Chicago. Although Michael is having some trouble selling it, it's one of the most memorable homes I've seen I gotta say. What did you guys think? Okay now I'll read a couple comments from you guys. On our M&M house tour, Thibaut Merkins wrote, I need to know how do you always look so fabulous? I love this channel and keep up the great work. Thanks so much for this sweet comment, I appreciate it, but it's getting harder and harder 
order to look fabulous with this quarantine, if we're being real. And on the same video Justin Johnson said about Eminem's homes, I can definitely see why he's low key. You'd never see me if I had properties like those. Agreed. All right guys, that's all I got in the NBA King Michael Jordan's homes. I'm sure everyone is watching that new docu-series he's got on Netflix, so I'm sure we'll keep hearing a lot about the man. I wanna hear from you guys, which one of his mansions did you guys like the best? What did you think? Let me know in the comments as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. Follow me on Instagram if you wanna chat and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.